Hello fellow humans and welcome to the madhouse. Today I want to do something a little bit different and talk about money. I've avoided doing this before because, well, my finances are my own business and to be honest you probably don't care about it that much, but, um, well, Things have conspired to make it interesting to say the least. I currently have £9.60 in my bank account to last me until the 11th of April. As I am filming this, this is Easter Sunday. That is exactly 15 days. That amounts to, I think it's £4.80 per week, which is, we'll call it a fiver. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do the £5 for a week challenge thing, except I'll be doing it twice over. Now, I'm more fortunate than some of the people who would be doing this because, well, while I really don't have any money, so I'm not doing it by choice, I, the reason I'm this low is that some of my bills came out a little bit late. So, I thought they'd come out already, and that the money had come out, and that I had the right balance in my account. So, I budgeted accordingly. Unfortunately, I was mistaken, and hence, I am a little short by about 40 quid. Life's a bitch sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> so the rent and the bills are completely paid. I have a roof over my head, I have lighting and I have running water. I should have heating and hot water, but the boiler's not working, so, well, I'll make do. I'm fortunate as well that I do have some food in my cupboard. Many people who start this wouldn't and, well, I have that. But, like I said, I'm not doing this through choice. It's just the situation I'm in. So this, pardon the mess, is all of the food I have. There's a bunch of noodles, some grated cheese. I don't know why I've got grated cheddar. I would not normally buy that. I've got some cheddar and some instant rice, which is handy because I can't cook rice to save my life. I can do a lot of things, but not that. Some salmon that slightly bashed its sell by date, but it's frozen, so it should hopefully be fine. And the same for br breaded goujons. I love chicken goujons, actually. They remind me of my childhood. But unfortunately, so does barely having anything to eat. And my parents having to struggle so incredibly hard just so that me and my brother could eat and they would give up meals just for us. They sacrificed art. They've not had to do that for a while and I have not had to go hungry in a long time as you can probably tell from my physique. <laughs> but hopefully I shouldn't have to do that this time either. I have three bags of sugar, two bags of bread flour and I think I saw some self-raising flour in the cupboard over there. Um, some chicken soup, some lemon juice some golden syrup, seven crumpets, some margarine. So that means I can have breakfast, I can make flapjacks if I need to, and if I buy some eggs, I can make cakes and pancakes and other things that are cheap and easy enough to do. And as it is, I could probably do shortbread, the easiest possible biscuit to make and easy to live on. There's also a truly ridiculous amount of pasta. I mean, let's see how much is in that bag. Uh, six kilograms of pasta so I know I'll be having a lot of that I may buy some more cheese so that I can have some I think the Italians call it cacciao and pepe which is just cheese and pepper pasta uh, often it would be cacio e pepe spaghettata but not always that's a large pasta dish it's very nice and I also for a treat have some crisps and some popcorn. Oh, and just, whoops, shush. No. To ensure my health, I have a single onion. Shut up. I have three jars of pasta sauce and a bunch of seasoning. So herbs, garlic, pepper, cinnamon, that sort of thing. So I can eat at least, this can do me at least nine days, maybe 11 if I stretch it. But I still need to get some other things. So 
tomorrow, because it's Easter Sunday now, I can't go shopping. Everywhere is bleeding closed. Except for takeaways, but I can't afford a takeaway. Or I could, but then I'd be truly fucked. I'll go tomorrow, I'll take you with me, and I'll show you the rest of this stuff. It's gonna be so much fun! I shall report back later. So, hello again. It's now about four hours since I last spoke, and um, I'm having my first meal of the day at about four o'clock in the afternoon, having been awake since eight. I'm trying this rationing thing seriously, but I also wasn't very hungry. I actually ate quite a bit yesterday while I was at my grandmother's. Uh, the joys of someone else paying the bill. <laughs> so, this is the, I think it's cacao or cacao, I don't think it's cacao because that would be some sort of chocolate product, surely. But, epepe. And I found some peas at the back of the freezer, so greens are good. Gotta keep that scurvy away. And I'm sorry about my terrible pronunciation. It's been a long time since I've tried to speak any Italian. And, well, it was never my forte, and I got to work that joke in. <laughs> You've got to laugh, haven't you? Sorry. I, I love that. If you don't get it, well, just think about it a little bit, and hopefully it'll come to you. <laughs> Until probably tomorrow, because I'm probably not going to eat that much to else today, and I'm just going to spend much of the day watching Netflix. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm just a little bit busy today, so I'm killing two birds with one stone, so pardon me. And don't worry, I am fully covered, so you're not going to see something accidentally. <laughs> not that anyone would want to see that, I'm not an attractive person. So, I'm in a good mood this morning. It's mm, half nine, I overslept a little bit. I was planning to be up at seven, but what can you do? I've not had anything to eat yet, but I'll sort that pretty soon, and whoops, that's not very even. Huh. Sorry, that's not a pleasant sight, is it? Nobody needs to see up my nostrils. <laughs> Though I imagine a lot of short people do get that anyway. But I'm in a good mood this morning. Um, why? because I managed to fix the boiler. So I can actually have a proper hot shower and I can clean up. I can start doing some of the washing up I've been leaving for a few weeks because I've been trying to do it bit by bit, boiling some water on the hob. And it takes forever, but now I can actually do it pretty easily. So I'm really happy with myself. And I'm going to go along later to the supermarket and pick up some essentials because, well, as you've seen, I do have some food in so I shouldn't starve, but it's not going to be a particularly healthy two weeks and I need to do something about that. You know, this is actually an excellent razor. I really wish I were sponsored now, but it's just... My dad always used to tell me that Gillette was the thing to choose, and he was right. <laughs> there wasn't much need to do this anyway, because what little facial hair I have is mostly white. There are a few darker patches, but it's white. I am a fat man with a white beard and an English accent, so perhaps I should have a go at Santa Claus. Not that Santa Claus actually would have had an English accent if he were real, but in my mind, Richard Attenborough is always Santa Claus. Miracle on 34th Street is an amazing film. <laughs> and I can do the voice fairly well, but my problem is the laugh. See, in the outtakes of a video I did a few weeks ago, that Joker laugh I did wasn't really a performance. That's just how I laugh. With a tiny bit of exaggeration. <laughs> And, well, Santa Claus laughing like a homicidal clown is not great for kids. And stop looking at me while I'm naked, you pervert. Okay, so, time to go shopping. So, hello, I'm back again, and is the sun shining straight into the lens? Yes, I think it is. Marvellous. I've just been shopping, I'm sorry I didn't take you in the shops with me, but I'm not really comfortable vlogging in public, it turns out. I freaked out and had to stop. 
So instead I'll just show you what I got for £7.32, the majority of my money, but it will last this stuff. Four pints of milk so I can make sauces and pancakes and people stare at me even here but fuck them. Mm. One loaf of bread. Mm. A box of 15 eggs which sadly are from cage tens but what can you do? I wish I could do something a little more moral but I'm broke and I need eggs and well I could get 15 cruelty free eggs for £2 which would mean that I may not be able to buy more eggs when these run out or when I run out of milk I won't be able to get more eggs either there's also one kilogram of cooking bacon for a pound from Aldi marvellous stuff I mean, okay, it's not amazing, but it's cheap, cheerful, and it can do a lot of meals. 800 grams of cheddar for about £3.50. This is the most expensive thing I bought, but I love cheese, and, well, I can make so much with it. It's not a great cheese, but beggars can't be choosers. Mm. Oh, yes. Last but not oops, last but not least, there is, are two packets of escalion shallots. I have no idea what an escalion shallot is. I know what a shallot is. It's a kind of oniony thing. I've never cooked with them before. I know they taste like onions, possibly a little bit sweeter and not so strong, which is quite nice, I suppose. But they were 25 pence. Hmm. So, ooh, my hair is showing up slightly purple in the sun, that's quite enjoyable. Uh, sorry, I've been doing a lot for my vanity lately to try and cheer myself up a bit. Why not? Now, I'm going to get home and have some breakfast. I think it's probably coming up to half eleven, but time isn't my forte, I could have lost track of it. I'll see you in a bit. So my breakfast today then is cinnamon toast and I'm going to pop the recipe which I filmed because I was bored probably on my blog or on here, who knows, you'll find out. But it's bloody delicious. Okay so my tea for tonight shall be this chilli, I'm rather looking forward to it. It's going to be slightly cheap and nasty but... Um, well, I like a bit of spice in my life. Besides, I can make it quite flavoursome if I need to. No, About 20 seconds ago for you, or about 8 hours for me, I said I was going to do something with a video of myself making the cinnamon toast. Now, of course, that might sound incredibly trivial, but I only learned how to make it, what it was this week. I'd only ever heard it mentioned. And... I know several of my friends and students and other people who are in dire circumstances who don't know how to cook so nice things or something that's nice and simple. So I thought, I do know because I've been doing it for most of my life. Why not show other people how to do it? So that is going up in a video tomorrow. And it will be the first of many, even when I'm no longer in the living for oh, a week on five pounds thing. I'll keep uploading them every now and again, just to say, Hello, broke people. Yes, I know what it's like. Just me, I am one of you more often than not. Here's something nice you can do. Here's how you can make some simple cakes to just liven up your day. Or here's how you can make a really filling meal out of half a bag of pasta, some cheese and some pepper. Anything like that really. Something that's just nice and simple and anybody can enjoy. And why wouldn't that be a good idea? <laughs> if it's something that you would be interested in or if you have any ideas for things you'd like me to 
make because I've been wanting to do a Madhouse Kitchen segment for ages anyway, specifically involving bookish bakes, and I'm still going to do that. But I want to do this too. So, oh, I don't know how to finish this thing. I'm not scripting any of it. I'm not practicing. This is practically all done in one take, hence the jump cuts. But I really like the idea. I shall see you as soon as I can. Tatty bye.